What's up guys, welcome back to the Cynic YouTube channel and welcome to another Modern Warfare 2 video. So guys, today we've got an interesting one for you. So, it turns out that this map that you're watching me play right now on Modern Warfare 2, the Breenberg Hotel in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Uh, obviously this exists in real life and the manager of this hotel in real life is not happy with Activision slash Infinity Ward for putting this in Modern Warfare 2. Um, now, obvious reasons, Call of Duty is a violent game and the manager of the hotel has said that, you know, he doesn't want this hotel portrayed in a game that contains violence. So, as you can see, guys, the, uh, the header for this article is on screen at the moment and I'll put the link below for the source, which is GamerRant.com. Um, now, <laughs> I mean, this is definitely an interesting one. Now, I was actually looking at pictures of this hotel in real life. Um, I'll put one on screen for you in a second, guys. And... I can see the resemblance. As soon as I looked at a picture, I thought, wow, that, that's true. You, you know, you can definitely see the resemblance. Um, and, of course, it is based off it as well, technically. Um, I mean, you know, Infinity Ward Activision might deny that it's based off it. You know, I say it's their own kind of thing. Um, but there's no denying that the whole design aspect of it is definitely uh, similar in one way or another. Um, now... <sighs> This is, uh, you know, this is, we're talking about a five-star hotel here, guys. So, you know, as much as I think it is a bit silly as well for the the, the, um, the manager and the staff of the hotel to be like, oh, no, we don't want this in Call of Duty, all this, it, you know, you have to see both sides of the story. You know, like I said, this is a five-star hotel uh, in Amsterdam, and these guys are not happy that Infinity Wars Plus Activision have put this in the Call of Duty franchise. So... We have to look at it from both sides. Now, in terms of further progression on this, I mean, it's tough because, you know, should this hotel decide to take Activision, uh, you know, into a legal battle, it's highly unlikely that this hotel is going to win uh, unless they've got some solid, ev uh, solid evidence um, and, you know, proof that this is just, you know, it, it's an exact resemblance, that kind of thing. Um, but... It's unlikely. I mean, you got to think Activision, you know, being a huge gaming company that they are, it, it's very highly unlikely. Um, Activision, you know, they're going to be lawyered up. they got these, you know, probably the top lawyer solicitors in the whole world, um, no doubt. And, you know, with previous legal battles that Activision have been involved in, never won pretty much all of them. It was just one occasion where they didn't win, uh, I believe. Um, so, yeah. It definitely begs a question uh, where this is going to go, if it's going to go anywhere. Um, the hotel hasn't actually decided that they're going to take legal action yet. They haven't decided uh, that they're going to take this further, but they are definitely looking at it as an option. So this obviously being similar to the situation with the F1 map that they had to take out and then put back in and you know, redesigned a bit. Um, whether it's going to be something similar to that where they have to kind of take it out and then you know replace it with something. Um, maybe change a few things around or that kind of thing. We don't know yet. Uh, that could possibly be the case, but only time will tell. So, guys, yeah, just a quick update for you, really, just to kind of uh, share that bit of news with you. And uh, please, guys, let me know what your thoughts are below on this. Whether you think the hotel is being a bit, uh, been a bit picky and silly for for doing this, um, or whether you think it's fully justified and Activision slash Infinity Ward need to change up the map, just like they did with the F1. Map now, of course, F1 map that was a whole you know that that was more widespread. Uh, they got to that a lot quicker. Um, they pretty much took down all their content and redesigned the map as quick as they could, um, ready to put in the game at launch. So it wasn't in the beta like it was supposed to be. Um, but of course, this map you know the game's been live now for about a week, and this map has been sitting here. So they haven't taken it out yet, which is interesting because I think if they were going to do anything, if they were worried about this. Going a bit further, then they probably just take it out of the game uh, and remove any mentions of it. And then they probably just put it back in afterwards and uh, redesign it or whatever. But the fact that it's still in here now kind of probably indicates to me that nothing further is really going to come of this. Um, it's just a hotel in Amsterdam. Uh, yes, a five-star hotel at that, 100%. But... Yeah, I don't think this is really going to go any further, guys, but we we may well see some action, some legal action between Activision uh, and the uh, hotel in Amsterdam. So, yeah, guys, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think of this whole situation. Um, I will post more updates on this if I do hear of any. 
And of course, please guys, let me know in the comments if there is any updates uh, in the time of me making and posting this. Um, it could just be a whole thing where it just gets shut down and that's it really, nothing, nothing else happens of it. Or this could turn into a huge legal battle between his hotel and Activision. But given how big Activision is, uh, and given I think this is just one hotel, it's not like a chain, I think it is just one, then yeah, I don't really see this going anywhere, guys. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching and listening to this video. Um, please remember to drop a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new with us. Uh, it really, really helps and we will be dropping another video tomorrow. Um, and of course we stream when possible. We did a stream earlier on today. So yeah guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.